Hello Aquarius, ow, ow, Aquarius. I hope you are doing super fantabulous and better than me. I have been under the weather lately, so I apologize. Um, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, where have you been? We've missed you. We've, we would like for you to join. Um, hit that like, that share, subscribe. And if you really like tarot, you like to have a good time, you need to come on over to Instagram. We go live every Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on traffic, 536 p.m. Central Standard Time. Readings, 1111 or 2222. We're there for happy hour and we're having a great grand time. All right, with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So, let's jump into these reads, guys, because I'm like, I have some vegetables cooking in the oven because I'm about to make me some soup, and I'm super excited. And it smells fabulous. Now, let's talk about what this reading is going to be. We're going to go into a general reading. We're going to go into singles. We're going to go into couples. And then, guess what, big baby? We're hitting up all the signs. Ain't nobody getting away with the, with any kind of shenanigans this month, all right? So, October 2nd, big, big day, new moon, solar eclipse in Libra. All right, guys, what does that mean for you? It's time for you to start showing the world who you really are, baby. You are talented. You are amazing. You are shining. You are grand. All right. And everybody needs to see how damn dirty good you are. Okay. Don't be afraid to showcase your talent. Now, on the 9th, Jupiter is going retrograde into the sign of Gemini. This energy is going to be blessing us a little bit, but also this energy is going to enhance. So be, be aware of your thoughts, all right? On the 11th, Pluto direct 29 degrees Capricorn. This um, 29 degrees is a very important um, degree. If you have this in your chart, it could mean that you feel very rushed sometimes or that... Um, there's major transformations happening there, right? We're trying to make these huge transformations. <clears throat> so be prepared because Pluto going right back into um, to Capricorn. Get ready. Get the popcorn and let's do this because it's going to be interesting. Everything is getting revealed, okay? Now, on the 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. Communication is going to get a little bit interesting, okay? And on the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries, okay, as well with 24 degrees. And then we have Venus entering into Sagittarius. So your focus during this time, during the full moon, is going to be a lot about your home life and your stability. Some of y'all may be looking to buy a home because I see a contract up there. Some of you are looking to move in with someone. It's just going to be a very beautiful time for you. All right. Now, um, on the 22nd, call up that Scorpio. Let's go celebrate because it's Scorpio season. All right. And it's going to be beautiful. Your animal energy this month is the wolf. Okay. This is about you being independent, but also knowing when to work with others. You, you are like um, a lobo solo. Okay. I don't know if y'all ever watched that movie with the turkeys, but I, I used to just laugh so hard at that movie. I thought it was so cute. But anyways, this is about you knowing that you can do things alone, but you can also work in a group. You work well with others, but you, you can get it done. You don't even need any help, Aquarius. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been really sick. So your astral energy is that of your ascendant. Pay attention to where your ascendant is in your chart so that you can kind of understand how this month is going to show up for you. All right. I also feel like the moon energy is going to be very effective with you with that showing up with the with the wolf. Now, you have here, your number this month is definitely 111. So I do feel like there is some soulmate energy coming in or some revelations. You're definitely on the right direction when it comes to love. You are moving forward. There is some form of a contract, whether this is in business or in love, but there's definitely a contract coming in for you, a soul contract, an agreement. The Ark of the Covenant is about you coming into agreement, okay? And you're going the distance. Yeah, you're going for speed, okay? You are all alone all alone in a time of need but anyways the number 11 again so there is a strong 11 11 energy i do feel like you're going to go the distance for something that means so much to you there is someone in your life that you'll probably have your eye on something of that nature and you're ready to do what you've got to do to make this happen if this is your story you will be seeing the number 111 all right so let's get into a general reading let's see Ooh, let's see what's going on my friend Let's see. Oh my gosh, the peppers are burning my eyes. They're like, 
I can smell them, but it's burning my eyes. All right, we have commitment. I told you there's something special coming through for you. You are under a love spell this month. This is beautiful. And there it is. You're moving in with someone, buying a new home. Something very, very beautiful is coming in. There's definitely something moving, okay? We're either moving on or moving in. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here? What's going on with this commitment? Things are getting serious. All right, we're getting serious over here. What do we got going on? We have paradise. You are in, you're like so in love. Love. It's so beautiful, Aquarius. So happy for you. You're in the honeymoon phase. All right, love spells coming through for you. Um, there's a little bit of fear of intimacy. You're just like, oh my gosh, where did this come from? What is going on? Are we moving too fast? And you want clarity and truth right now. You're like, whoa, I really need to know where we stand together. And if you're with someone who's going out a lot with their friends and not really um, investing in you, I think you may be moving on from that situation. Okay? Remember, this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal private reading, you sure can hit me up on my link tree. <gasps> okay. Oh, my. Your cards are flying out. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have... The high priestess. So trusting your intuition, you're really looking at things from a new perspective, from a higher perspective also. All right. There you are establishing yourself in a very committed relationship. I really feel like you're looking to buy your house or you're moving. It's very beautiful energy. And big changes are coming through with the death card. So it could be that um, Scorpio season is just your time to shine, big baby. It's like really coming through for you. And there's death to old ways that are no longer working for you. Death by the devil, like we're, we're putting that shit to rest, okay? Because we want success, baby. We're not letting those old ways get in the way and we are going for it. We're going the distance, baby. This is beautiful energy coming in, generally speaking. You're trusting your intuition. You're establishing your foundation. You're making the changes that you need to make. Two fours right next to each other. This is a safe and secure time to be open to love. However, you are putting to rest old habits, old ways of being because you are ready to go to the next level let's look at the death card real quick before we move on the hangman you have set yourself free right here in this little like triangle we have death to being caught up in things that are no longer for us okay so we're moving forward from that that's a very beautiful energy what does the devil want you to know the emperor you are taking control there's also like some old habits that you might have that you're just like totally changing whether it be in diet whether it be in fitness whatever it is you're really changing those and there you are the three of wands with the queen of wands you are ruling you are you are all that baby you are all that okay so get out of your head start moving forward make those decisions i do see like major moves coming in for you overall very beautiful energy Okay, we are going to be jumping into our beautiful singles and ready to mingle. Let's see, where does this go? Right here. Okay, singles. What do we got for you? What do we have for our beautiful singles? What do we have for our beautiful singles? Sorry, I need to cover my phone. What do we have for our singles? Let's see. Give it time. Okay, stop rushing. All right, slow down, Captain. Go on that vacation. Okay, you'll be traveling soon. And open up your heart, Aquarius. All right, because you're so cute. You need to open it up. And yes, you have a guardian angel watching over you. Um, this guardian angel is kind of telling you, like, yeah, you need to change in, 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 like, in pace. You need to move forward. Don't be holding on to things that don't need to be held on to. So who is this lost loved one watching over um, our beautiful Aquarius right now? Hi, TT. <laughs> so we have very strong Aries energy. We have big mama energy coming in. This is the energy of someone who was very protective of you, very close to you. Uh, then we have Aquarian energy. They were also like, didn't want you to go to a lot of social things. But when they were out socially, they were like the star of everyone wanted to talk to them. Everyone wanted to be around them. And there could have been something that involved a surgery, a sickness. Um, give me a little bit more. And like, there was something about a contract or a commitment and they always felt guilty about it okay so this person is at peace okay and they want to see you at peace they want to make sure that you are peaceful okay let's jump into your reading that might not have been for everybody but for those that it did okay let it connect 
All right, we're going to jump into our singles reading. Oh, no, we're going to get clarity. Giving it time. What are we giving it time for? Hmm. Well, slow down, Aquarius. What's up? All right, because there's some interference. Something's trying to slither its way in. All right, and with the vacation, they're going to call you. Let's go. Let's take this vacation. Let's do this. A lot of messaging going on, a lot of beautiful energy coming in. So open up your heart. It's the talking stage. The talking stage is the most exciting thing right because you're getting to know each other it's warm it's fun it's exciting and you're also learning about yourself too the guardian is saying lighthearted th things things are coming to the light to heal so your guardian is showing you things like in areas of your heart that need healing and development and as you're moving forward those things are going to be very very um empowering for you all right very empowering i'm like where did your um Hmm. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we got going on for you, big baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We have the Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be meeting somebody through a work situation, okay? All right, Aquarius, all right, all right. You're moving forward, you're moving away from something, like maybe if you didn't mean that at work, you're moving away from something that is no longer working. I wanna say the dragonfly, if this is for you, if that message from the guardian is for you, you're gonna see a lot of dragonflies around you, all right? And that's them letting you know that they want you to transform and heal. The dragonfly is born in the water, it moves to the air, and then it's able to land on the earth. Um, so it's like able to move through everything, all phases of life. It's emotional, it's stable, it's grounded, and it knows when to go, all right? Beautiful energy of the dragonfly. Overall energy, the Ten of Pentacles. There's also a work situation for you. You should apply for it. It's going to go really well for you, okay? You're completing a cycle, all right? And things are really working. Work is like heavy on your mind right now. There's a lot with work. So you could possibly be meeting someone through a work situation. And it's a new, fresh start for you. Very, very beautiful energy coming through for you. So the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Double Ten here. This is kind of saying for you, like I know this is a love reading. But you are very focused on your finances and on this contract and moving to the next level. It's very, very beautiful for you. And I think it's going to work in your favor. What does the Three of Pentacles have for our beautiful Aquarius tonight we have the eight of Pentacles and so you know we want to feel celebrated in a situation with this no longer going after something that makes us feel less we're releasing the past with the five of cups we've been working on ourselves if anything else the ten of swords is we're turning our back on those things that made us feel less of who we are okay because we want that four of wands I'm telling you some of y'all are getting that house getting that marriage getting those things that you want um, the five of pentacles here we want more in life okay and then there's the queen of cups all right so we want to feel love we want to feel nurtured we want to feel joy we don't want to have to hide anymore the Ten of Pentacles, what do we have here with the Ten of Pentacles? There is definitely a trip. We have the Nine of Pentacles right here. He's cutting something off. So somebody is like no longer wanting to be single. They're going on this trip, this vacation. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's just taking a while to get there with the Knight of Pentacles, all right? And we have the Queen of Swords energy here. And she is looking at the past. She's looking at something. So this is about you really getting into your heart space right now. We are releasing this Queen of Swords energy, this cutthroat energy, this... Um, I want to say, like, sometimes when I think about the Queen of Swords, she ain't playing with nobody. But sometimes because she doesn't allow things to happen, she cuts things off too quick. The world wants you to know the sun. So, yes, we are really putting ourselves out there. We're enjoying this cycle. This is strong Leo energy. The world is telling you the world is yours. The world is yours. So go for it. Don't be afraid. Eight of Pentacles has for you the Seven of Pentacles. You want to work on something that's going to grow, that's going to go develop for you. But it's like this Five of Swords energy right by the snake. So there's like this situation that some of y'all might be going through where like you meet somebody really great, everything's going good, and then that person from the past slithers on in or comes in and um, it's ruining your opportunity to get what you want. Now, the snake can also represent old habits, old behaviors, old ways of thinking that are no longer good for you. What does the Ace of Pentacles suggest for our beautiful, the Three of Cups, uh, Sag, 
the Three of Cups, Aquarius. This is you really enjoying it, really celebrating, having fun, okay? And then there's the Tower. Release the third party. If whoever, it, like, look, you know, like, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm just going to keep this person on the side because I need a backup if something happens. If you're going to initiate this new relationship and move on this new path, it's time to kind of let go of the, the sneaky link or the one that's really not doing anything for you but holding you back. Because in the end, it's going to get in the way because you really want justice to be served. You really want things to move in the right direction. Aquarius, open up your heart. Release those things from the past because this could be so beautiful. This could be so good. This is like soulmate energy. You know, the sun right by that, that is just like such beautiful energy. Pay attention to the 21st. Pay attention to the 10th. And yeah, and the 8th. I'd already have the 8th there. Very important dates for you. Okay, so let's see for those of y'all who are wondering about an ex, we will pull and see. Think about that person I'm about to grab from that deck. And then we'll look to see who's coming in new for you. The person that you have this like loving vacation plan. That's like super exciting. You know, excited. All right. So what's up with the person from the past um, that's slithering in and out of this person's mind or life? Okay. So we have here, we have time. They're afraid that they've waited too long to speak up. They want to make their rights wrong. I mean, their wrongs right. They want to make their wrongs right. And they miss you. They miss the little jokes that you had, the little happy inside jokes. And um, things didn't go the way they planned, okay? And this could be for you or for them. Like, things just did not, ha they didn't play out the way they thought that it was going to happen. And they really regret this, okay? I want to apologize and I need your forgiveness. You deserve better than them. No, they're jealous. And I wish you were with me. That's what they're reminiscing. And I ran because I wasn't ready for you. They just weren't ready for you, Aquarius. Or you weren't ready for them, whatever it was. And in this situation, it's... You know, when we keep going after something that didn't work and we keep trying to do that, what happens is that you kind of like... You're not open to something that can work, right? And we want what can work. So let's see who's coming in for our wonderful Aquarius. Let's see well, who's coming in, who's coming in. Let's see here. We have the moon. So this person has like very like beautiful skin. This is like to me, I always feel like it's old school Hollywood when I see the moon. Very Cancerian energy. Okay, it could be that Queen of Cups energy that you're feeling glamorous, beautiful skin, like porcelain like skin. All right, Aries energy. This person likes to work out. They could be, if they're masculine, super hairy. Here, <laughs> like they're like very strong. Okay. And then we have the tree, so green eyes, healthy, tall, Capricorn. And then we have green eyes again with hazel or brown hair, Sagittarius. Maybe that's why I said Sagittarius earlier. Maybe I just like Sagittarius. I don't know. I got nothing. One more, one more. We have the stars. This person has beautiful skin. There's something about their skin. And they possibly have a birthmark on their face, okay? So those are some clues of who is coming in. And let's see what else we got here. Let's see. The bomber jacket. There's something about the moon in Scorpio season, okay? And you're probably going to see 444. Um, you can meet this person online, okay? You can meet them online or, or better yet, your first date is at a bar, okay? There's something about plants. This individual loves plants. <laughs> they love the outdoors. And yeah, they're going to send you a message, okay? DMs possibly. And I want to say like with this symbol right here, I do see y'all walking at night. Like there's something about y'all walking outside, looking at the stars. Maybe you are both into astrology or astronomy, very into those kinds of things. Maybe we're going to go look at the second little asteroid by the moon or whatever. I don't know. It's super cute. I see a lot of late night walks, a lot of talking. It's very romantic. So I would go for it if I were you. Let's get some initials. Who's coming in for Aquarius? Let's see. 
We have A for Ari. I'm just playing for Adam. We got another A. We got an L. Maybe it's Lala. We got an R and a V. We got those letters coming in. This could be those initials or somewhere in their name. All right. This is the part of the read where we go into our couples. And I will be right back because I have to check my vegetables. All right, couples, let's see what we got for you. What's going on? All right. We have financial issues could possibly be um, causing some things in the relationship. Open up your heart towards this and give it some time. So there could be some financial things, especially if we're buying a house or we're moving, guys. It's not always as easy as people think it is. And, of course, someone is trying to get in the middle of this. This does not always necessarily mean cheating. This could simply mean, like, literally someone is, like, getting in the way, okay? For Friend, family, neighbor, co-worker. What's up with the gambling? We're trying to heal over the financial issues, okay? Open up your heart. Um, no seduction, no third parties, okay? And give it time. You need to go out with friends. You need to enjoy. Don't rush the relationship. And yeah, be very careful because there's someone in the in the there's something on the wing, okay? And they're acting like they're not that into you, but they are. And they're gonna make the relationship that you already have like complicated. All right, what is your person thinking, Aquarius? What are they thinking? The five of wands. Okay, they're like, wait a minute, we have a little bit of conflict going on. What are they thinking about? To a swords, major major decisions. This could be like, oh my God, we're going to move in together? Like, what the hell? Like, I'm not ready. Or am I? Ow, ow, ow. Let's see. <coughs> what do they think of you? The devil. Oh, oh my God, Aquarius. What is going on? Okay, let's get more into it. Like, maybe they just find you super mad sexy. That's what it is, right? Um, your person is acting like the world. There's, like, they feel very full and complete with you. The Five of Pentacles. So this could be like a situation of finances that are coming in. There's something about finances. There's something about, like, you withholding information from them or vice versa, okay? But things get better with the Six of Swords. We move forward. We move on. We make the magic happen, okay, with the with the magician. Very much, we cooking up something in the kitchen like me, okay? We're cooking it up, and it smells delicious. So I like to make, like, um my own salsa and stuff and it just it just tastes better but I had to, I didn't have time to like roast my stuff I had to like cook it in the oven because I decided to make enchilada soup at like 10 o'clock at night mm. which wasn't the smartest thing to do oh man I just ruined my table right there oh hold on let me move this okay let's get into this Five of Wands, what do we have for Aquarius with the Five of Wands? Why is their partner's story the Five of Wands? They're afraid of the finances, the Seven of Pentacles. They're just like, I think you're overthinking it, okay? They're overthinking it, and they're feeling like, man, things are moving really slow. I thought we were going to close on this house. I don't know what's going on here. The Two of Swords, I always look at the scratch on his eye. So maybe like they saw something they're not very much really into, the Six of Cups, or they're reliving something from the past, and they're like afraid that it's going to repeat itself, and they don't know how they're handling it. They don't know how to handle that, okay? Why do they see you as the devil? Lord have mercy. What's going on here? We have the chariot, okay? So I feel like with you, <laughs> sex is bomb, okay? Sex is bomb. It's good. All right, we're happy there. Yep, three of cups. It's always a damn dirty celebration. We might not get along with anything else, but in the bedroom, we're okay. All right, that's what they see with you. And they do feel like you um, travel a lot, like you're always on the go. Okay, they feel like they've found the world with you. I'm trying to find a way to cover up because it's the two of cups. Your partner is in love with you. They adore you. They want to be the king of cups in your life. They want to be everything to you. Okay, emotionally. But why are we at the five of cups, five of pentacles, the nine of pentacles? We know we got to cut something out. So there could be, okay, someone needs to cut out going out with partying with friends too much and allowing like third party energy in meaning <clears throat> someone might be a little too flirty when they go out okay and the five of pentacles again so <clears throat> surrendering okay we have to surrender we have to realize that financially we need to sit down and make a plan because if not someone is either going to definitely move on 
Okay, because we have the Six of Swords and the ship in the back. And we need to sit and have a little financial conversation. And there needs to be some major changes. Okay, like somebody is like, no, I'm putting my foot down. Okay. 213 could be an important number. Don't know why I said that. But the magician is coming out with the Five of Cups. Someone needs to release the past. They need to let that go. It's no longer in, needed in this relationship because we're going to move on. We do have marriage on our mind. We do want to have fun. We want to have we want to have this home, this house, but there has to be a really big change in our um, spending habits. And it's going to get hot and heated between you guys, but in a good way. All right. So there's a lot of passion in this relationship, but the finances just aren't there. And there needs to be some very clear communication on what is acceptable in the relationship and what isn't and don't change what it is that you want i will say there is someone who is dealing with someone whose mood is very unstable with the magician and the devil in this spread um and then i have this look i have the magician i have the world and i have the devil and they were in a diagonal so look we have got to put an end to behaviors that keep people feeling unsure okay and we've got to get focused on what it is we want to initiate, okay? Come on, my guy. Come on. You got this. You got this, okay? You got them all wrapped around your finger, but I feel like there's a lot of jealousy possibly around you guys that um, people are like, oh, well, you know, they have it going on. I, I just want to see what they're up to. Don't tell anybody you're buying a house either. All right. Anything that they need to know this month? Something is over with the grave. There is a situation spreading that you didn't know about. There's something that you did not know about. It's unforeseen, but it's something new. There's also could be a pregnancy coming in for some. Yeah, I'm going to say be very careful. All right, be very careful with some little excursions that you might have because there could be a pregnancy coming in. What does the lady want us to know? There's the man. So there is also, like, you guys are very close to each other, but there needs to be an ending to something, okay? There has to be something that ends. Uh, there it is, okay? So there is a situation of maybe a, an overbearing friend, someone who's getting in the way. Okay, I'm not going to say cheating, all right? Because it's not always cheating. But there's something that's getting in the way, all right? And the key here, the key here, what is the key? Is stability. So you want to be with someone. I heard the 80-20 rule. Okay. I was listening to Shannon Sharp. It was talking about the 80-20. You could have 80% at home. Okay. And um, because they didn't do 20%, you go and get with somebody who's like a 90-10. Like 90% not what you want, but 10% what you do. So don't give up on something that is worth the work. Okay. Um, and don't let someone spit in your ear something that ain't even worth it. All right. No. No, no, no. And you're like, but it's supposed to be a great month. Well, it is a great month. You're getting a home. You're in a relationship. You just have to be smart about who you let around you. All right, let's see here. What is this? What is your guidance? We are definitely healing. We're definitely healing. There is a little bit of a storm. I think it's a financial issue, to be honest. There's a lot of overthinking right now, a lot of overthinking and planning, all right? So we're healing. There's also this energy about, like, put, you know, accepting support all right but there's indecision when this storm hits okay and it could happen in august 10th okay and it could also be october 8th and you've got to be strong with your decision do not back down okay do not back down no matter what okay no matter what however Get that house. All right. Get the house. Get yourself secure. Okay. So let's jump into the part of the reading where we go to all signs. All right. Remember the dates that I have here are the first, the second, the eighth, the tenth, the eleventh, and the twenty-first. Okay. Here we go. We are going Aries to Pisces. Okay. What do we got going on? I'm cutting the deck. We have the nine of cups, lots of promises, but we're not getting met. Like we're, we're, there's no equal give and take in this situation, which is causing an issue, right? It's like 1030. I still got to make soup. I got to be up at 430 in the morning to get to the gym. That's it. 
All right, Aquarius, here you are as the death card. You are changing, you're transforming, you're evolving, and you're sexy as hell, all right? And Aries says, I want to pop a quarter in that slot, okay? They're all about you. They've been praying about this situation, too. I do feel like they're very excited to be with you. Aries is really excited about it. Um, they're getting over heartbreak. They're hoping things have ch will be different with you, but they're willing to go for it. And they're going to do it, okay? They're going to go for it. They're like, that's my boo. I don't care. That's my Aquarius, all right? Lucky day, the 20th. Here you are as the wheel. You're rolling. Things are moving in your favor, all right? And Taurus is not pouring into you. And we're like, I'm moving on. I don't care, all right? The first could be important. I feel like you kind of notice that they pull back a little bit, and you're just done. Here you are as the four of wands. You're getting that house, boo, all right? And Gemini has got a little bit of a, a, a chip on their shoulder. And there could be a sudden move. I feel like they're suddenly like, let's move in together. Let's do this. All right. The ninth could be important. Here you are as the queen of swords standing in your power, being strong, right? And Cancer has got all their hopes and dreams on you. They absolutely love and adore you. And they want to have a baby with you. They want to rewrite history with you. They are just all into you. The 14th could be very important. Yeah, I have to drink like two liters of water today and I'm like dying. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so over the water. All right, we have, I'm doing a, a pair of cleanse. <laughs> Y'all pray for me, what's wrong? Anyway, you are here as the hangman, okay? And the hangman is coming through for you. And this is the energy of stability and standing in your power, but also like surrendering, you're surrendering. And let's see, Leo says let's work on it you could meet this leo through a work situation too and we're gonna go we're gonna work on it we're gonna develop we're gonna we're gonna make it happen okay here you are as the sun you are a yes all right and virgo is not feeling it virgo feels defeated because they feel like they're that you work too much possibly or that the miscommunication was just too much okay lucky day the 14th sorry i didn't get the other ones here you are, all in love, standing in your power as the Hierophant, okay? And Libra is all in love with you, too, all right? The solution is trust your intuition. You guys have a very spiritual connection. It's very beautiful. Your lucky day is the fifth. You are done fighting. You ain't want to argue. You ain't want to talk no more, okay? And Scorpio is just done. Scorpio is like, look, I'm unhinged. Don't want to do this anymore. So we're going to pray about it. So what is the prayer about? What are we praying about? We are praying about a new beginning. This was a tragic ending. You possibly will be seeing the number 555 a lot. The first could be important. Here you are as a damn dirty magician, baby. Looking sexy, doing everything. Baby, you look good, okay? You're in control. Okay, and then we have... That was Scorpio. That was Sag. Capricorn. It's ready for the victory. Capricorn's coming to get you, baby. They don't care. They want to relive the past. They want to make it happen, baby. They in love with you, okay? The 12th could be important. You have not made a decision on how you want to move forward and the other Aquarius is trying to heal the situation and the solution is let's get married. Let's justice be served. All right. The 15th could be important. You are the devil. Okay. And Pisces is temptation. All right. The solution. Ooh, good Lord. These guys are enemies in this deck. Okay. This is about look. There is a lot of sexual tension. There is a lot of stuff going on in this situation. I would say it is, um, if you're not in a relationship with this person, this person is trying to hook up with you, it's going to be a no. It's going to be a sticky situation, if you know what I mean. The 15th could be very important. I almost want to say, like, this person has got you on the fence, and this is a strictly physical relationship. So just... Proceed with caution. All right, guys. Enjoy your month. All right. I got to go make my soup and clean my kitchen. All right. Take care. Be blessed. And hopefully I'll have these up like tomorrow. All right. Bye.